A family-friendly destination for over 35 years now, Poulton's Park near Romsey has been busy over the winter months working on their latest attraction. We've created our own unique Little Africa experience, which is a great experience with birds, animals, great scenic uh, areas like one behind me with the waterfall at the moment. This is our biggest single investment in our zoo for a long, long time. And it's been a great opportunity to really invest in what we're doing, improve our, our welfare standards, the experience for the guests, and it's been a really good experience. This is uh, Little Africa by name, Little Africa by nature. So everything we've done has been with an African resemblance to it. We wanted to push that theme through absolutely everything we did, from the music, the animals, the theming we've created. It's, it's an African area. It's taken us from concept to finishing, and literally we only finished last week. Um, it's taken about two years to, to go through it, and loads of contractors and and people that have put so much work and effort into getting to where we are today. The animals on display are not only there to educate the public, but to help conservation efforts also. Many of the species at the park you'll not see anywhere else. Conservation is extremely important in the world we're in today, and what we do here in our zoo is very important towards that. There's animals we have here uh, which are threatened in the world, and we're part of breeding programs to ensure that these animals don't disappear completely. So yes, conservation is a, is a really important message in what we're trying to deliver here. We do it financially, but what we the main reason is to give it the information to the public and to schools. We get lots of school parties come. They're going to find it fantastic in here when they come and have their lessons in here, and they can see all the birds flying around and all the different mammals, especially things like the nocturnal house, where obviously these animals will all be asleep during the day. We've reversed the lighting, so actually when all the people go home at night, we turn all the lights back on again, and then all the animals go to sleep. No, we've got some absolutely brilliant, unique animals here. So we've got the fennec foxes in our nocturnal house, and the tiny pygmy mice, which are some of the cutest things I think you'll ever see. Uh, as well as porcupines, different types of reptiles. So there's some really unique animals that you're not going to see anywhere else. We've got things that are sort of related to each other. Everybody's seen the meerkats in most of the collection. But we've got the mongoose next to them, the yellowtail mongoose. And actually in the wild, they co-exhibit, they co-exist. So it's quite nice to get those and we can tell a story. In the nocturnal house, we have one of the largest rodents in Africa, which is the Gambian pouch rat. And then we have the smallest one, which is the little pygmy mouse. <clears throat> but we wanted to use the big rats because they're rats that are trained in Africa to find landmines. And also they can smell TB in humans. Uh, and this is a project that we're helping sponsor now. The park continues to be a family-run business and this new attraction is just the start of their plans for the 2018 season. I've been here nearly 32 years. I've seen the family all grow up. Uh, and it's still very, a, a very hands-on family as well. Oh, definitely, very much still a family business since we opened in 1983, uh, and those family values are, are key to what we what we want to achieve uh, with regards to the, the family experience we want to deliver. We reopen on Sunday, the 11th of February, for half term, and we're really looking forward to an exciting 2018 season with the extension of Pepper Pig World as well to brand new ride experiences opening in later on in the year in May. Uh, we're really excited what 2018 has to offer. Richard Stringer. That's TV.